hello lovely people welcome to my channel gifting came here in this video i'm going to show you how to trim your split ends how to you know control your damage ends so if you're interested in this video kindly you do subscribe to my channel and let's get right into the video welcome back once again so in this video i'm going to give you all the knowledge you need to know about split and damage ends so you'll be having a chit chat as i show you how to treat your damage ends so first off uh i always do this on a clean hair of course you know before you uh you know deal with your split ends you need to make sure your hair is clean and also your hair is uh well detangled you don't want to do this whilst your hair is tangled and also in a string uh, form. I mean, split ends are mostly, you know, the term in use in natural hair community to describe the damaged ends or the damaged parts of your hair. So basically, it's just the oldest part of your hair, which is the ends of your hair. So yeah, that's what split ends is. And then also, you should know that split ends cannot be controlled, you know, uh, cannot be managed. You know, the only way you can, uh, you know, uh, control split end is to cut them off yes that's basically it so the oldest part of your hair just needs to be cut off and the the importance of you know cutting ends cutting the ends or the cutting the weak parts of your hair is also to control and make your hair healthy also it helps in detangling your hair because when you cut the weakest part of your hair you know it's not going to affect the other parts of your hair and also when you cut the weak ends of your hair it's also help in detangling your hair uh, very easily and very quicker so that is basically it you don't need the weakest part of your hair to be part of your healthy hair i mean that's just uh, basic knowledge so yeah that's what uh, weak, uh, weak or split ends are it's very very important to cut uh, those split ends off there's no product that can solve this problem sometimes we are obsessed with having long hair that we refuse to uh, you know uh, cut those split ends off but it's really really important i mean why do you want to keep your damaged ends whilst you want to grow a healthy hair there's no point in that so it's you know it's also up to you for you to decide when you want to you know cut uh, those split ends off i do this twice a year some people do it every three months or four months so it's all up to you you have to have a schedule for when you want to cut off your split ends so yeah is there um I said this in my previous video that uh you know i do this at the end of the year uh, at the middle of the year and at the beginning of the year so yeah it's genuine that's so why i'm doing this video for you to show you how i cut off my split and so in this video you could see you know i have detangled my hair very very well uh some people use a straightener in doing this process uh, some people also use the method in a uh, stretching hair to do this so it's all up to you to decide on the method you want to use I've, I have used the um, a trading method in uh, you know cutting off my split and so I have videos on that I'll leave the link in the description so you could see in this video I'm using the I'm using the jumbo twist method in you know uh, cutting off my split ends so yeah I'm just all you need is to just make sure that your hair is properly and well detangled if your hair is not properly detangled or well detangled um you can't you can't get the accurate uh way of cutting off your split ends it's going to give you a different form of cutting those split ends off so yeah that is one basic thing you need to know you need to detangle your hair very very well uh what i because most times when you when you watch my videos i always use my fingers in detangling my hair but you know in this particular video i am you know cutting off my splitting and i need to get that smooth uh hair hair detangled before i need to cut off my you know damaged ends it's really really important that is why you could see i'm using all the tool in you know detangling in my hair in this video another thing too is that you know some natural hair gurus advocate that you use that special scissors called share in you know uh, trimming your ends for me i really do not mind any scissors you use as far as you get the basis you know in uh, doing this process you are good to go not everybody that is going to get that special scissors in doing this process so i really do not mind as far as you get the basis of trimming your hair on time or having a shadow in trimming your hair 
so that's that on this uh getting you know that uh trims or that uh, cutting your split ends so also you should know that if you are using the straightener metal which is using your you know heat straightener in uh doing this uh you know trimming your hair you need to have a heat protector you know else you damage your natural hair and also at the end of the day you weaken your hair and also uh you know yeah, extending your hair problems rather than you know solving your split ends so yeah you need to have a heat protector or you just need to go to a professional to do this uh you know process for you or help you in trimming your hair if you can't do the trimming yourself or you can't you know uh, take your time and do this process because uh in this uh, process that i'm doing it took uh like about two hours in doing everything so it also depends on if you have you know detangle your hair earlier so the process of detangling your hair is what takes time in uh, doing this process now when you are detangling your hair you have to make sure your hair is well moisturized so you could see i spray in my uh, ayurvedic uh, hair spray in it you can use you can spray in ordinary water you know water is number one moisturizer so yeah that is why i was spraying my hair when i got to the last part my my hair got dry so yeah i will have to moisturize my hair and detangle my hair very very well this process you need to take your time uh in doing this you know when you are detangling your hair using uh, a tool like a brush you know a detangler or a comb you need to be very very gentle you know how the natural hair is really really fragile so yeah and also this is how i you know trim my ends it all depends on where you want to cut your ends from so you could see that you know yeah trimming my hair <laughs> After trimming all my ends and I just have to, you know, unravel my twist to make sure that all my hair have the same level of uh, length. So this is the back of the hair and you could see how, uh, you know, voluptuous my hair looks. So that's the end of this video, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like content relating to natural hair uh, stuff, you know, how to grow your natural hair, natural hair care, everything relating to natural hair, this is the channel you need to, you know, subscribe to and also um you know give this video a, a like and also leave a comment in the comment section what kind of content do you like to watch you know i share a lot of uh diys on my channel so if this is something you want as well i will also be really happy to share a lot of that with you thank you very very much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye for now